Hey guys, Corey Dickman here from Dickman Fitness. I want to introduce and welcome you guys to a new warm-up and activation mobility series all-in-one with the hip. So it's a really great series that I've been working on. You get yourself in a 90-90 position. So the front leg is bent, bottom leg is back, or the other leg is back. What you're going to do is you're going to brace yourself, keep a nice upright posture. You're going to lift this leg up, knee and ankle. You're going to extend out nice and slow. So incorporating blood flow in the hip as we work through range of motion. We're gonna do five reps. So there's one, lifting ankle and knee, extending out, bring it back down. Try to pull that toe back towards you and vertical when you finish. Bring it back in, rotate, down. A couple more reps. So five each leg. We're gonna work on the back one in a second here. One more rep. What this is doing is incorporating blood flow into the muscles, keeping you strong and bulletproof around those hips we can be in better positions when we're training. The back leg, we're gonna lift ankle and knee up at the same time, maintain a good posture, bracing yourself if you need to, rotating, put your foot down here as if you wanna stand up off the floor. Bring it up, rotate it back. We're gonna do five reps. So up, rotating, back down. Working every muscle around that hip, the groin, the hip flexors, the glutes. Okay, so this is a great incorporation to your warm up. After you've gone through foam rolling, you can go through a light uh, heart rate exercise like walking or a row machine or bike before you do this. We're going to switch to the other side. So it kind of takes place new research with incorporating uh, activation with range of motion. So improving mobility and improving activation in the muscles that provide stability while we're squatting, while we're running, while we're engaging in sport. So upright posture, lift, extend. The slower you go on this, the better, more effective this is. Okay, back leg, up, rotate, lift through, set it down, bring it back. Okay, five reps here. Just one set of this on any day that you train, especially lower body. So that when we're doing change in direction drills, squatting, lunging, we have these muscles activated, recruited, and loose all in one. Okay, there you have it folks. Good luck, stay tuned.